Lesson 16.11 is right angles in circles. So there's two different cases that we need to know about that when we have these certain things in a circle, we're actually creating right angles in some triangles that are being made. And the first time is when you have a radius, meaning a tangent line. So you can see in this picture that here's a radius coming from the center to the outside of the circle. And that same point that it touches is also where there's a tangent line touching at that point. So this creates a 90 here and also here. Okay, the other time that we can get a 90 degree in a circle is when you have an angle inscribed in a semicircle. So basically saying you've made a triangle where one of the sides or really the hypotenuse is the diameter. And the reason this happens is because this is our inscribed angle. The two ends come here all the way to here. Well, if this is a diameter, we think about that's half the circle, which would be 180 degrees. Well, then since this is an inscribed angle, it's gonna be half of 180, which means it's 90. So anytime you have a triangle where one of the sides is the diameter, that angle where it meets on the edge of the circle is going to be 90 degrees. So our job is to now look at these crazy pictures and try to figure out which of the following must be right angles, select all that apply. So the first thing I would look for is, is there a tangent line? That means that the line on the outside of the circle, it's only gonna touch the circle in one spot. This is tricky because it almost is a tangent line, but you can see it's going through K and U. So that's a secant line, that's not a tangent line. So we're not gonna have this case. But what we could have is a diameter, which I actually do see right here. And so then that means this angle would be a right angle here, because we have a triangle where the hypotenuse is the diameter, meaning that this arc would be 180, well this inscribed angle would be 90. That also happens in this triangle, this angle here at S would be a right angle. So let's look through our options. Angle N, K, U, N to K to U would be here. Definitely not. Q, K, U, Q, K, U, it's close, but no, because we said that's a secant line on a tangent. Q, K, A would be here, same thing, it's close, but no. K, N, K, N, X, yes. K, S, X, yes. And the last one is N, X, S, no. So just those two. All right, let's try problem number two. Kind of crazy to look at it first, but I would start with where are any tangent lines? I happen to see one right here because the point of tangency is at H and it's meeting a radius. And so that creates a right angle here and here. I'm seeing another tangent line here, line WC, and it touches at point A and it meets there with the radius. And so here and here would be a right angle. I also see a diameter with this triangle, so here at Z would be a right angle. So there should be five different ones. Let's look through our options. Angle VAW, VA out to W, yes. AZT, AZT, yes. ZAV, ZAV, yes. No, 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 hold on, not Z-A-V, sorry, W-A-V was, nope. Uh, V-H-B, yes. Z-A-C, no, that's a huge angle here, that's all of this, no. And A-V-H would be the central angle, no. So those three were the only ones out of that list.